Hey guys, welcome back to some Dragon Quest. Right, we are in Sniffleheim. We arrived here last time, and the whole city is being plagued by a by a, by a plague uh, that turns everyone to gold. So you know, not your average uh, disease for sure. So we need to go back to town and see if we can figure out what to do. All the while, Eric is acting really super weird. He still does, doesn't have any of his memories back, but he seems to be... He seems to have something to do with this fever. I have no idea. I can't wait to find out. So much so that I have uh, pretty much started this video straight after the last one ended. So, uh, so yeah. Alright, what's going on, gang? Oh, there you are. Is everything all right? Mm, not exactly. You see, the queen seemed awful sad. Mm. And she told us mm. 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 How's this woman doing? Ah. Hello there, madam. Do you have a minute to talk to us? We'd like to ask you a few questions. Do I have a minute, he asks. How can I know when every second might be my last? You do well to leave this place before you turn to gold, too. <gasps> Wait, I know you. You're that boy, Eric. You... you know me? You know him? Oh, don't be silly. Everyone in Sniffleheim knows you. You're the... <gasps> oh, no. <gasps> No! This can't be happening! What the hell? What's the matter, dear? Uh, are you okay? Does she look okay, Sylv? It's... It's... Got me! Oh no, that's... Oh, that's so... That looks so painful. Holy shit! I take it this is a case of gold fever. It's horrible. That is nasty. What the hell are you... It's... What are you doing, Eric? Are you turning these people to gold? Eric, honey, are you okay? Tell me where it hurts. Eric? I heard a commotion and came running. I never thought that I would find you here. Why did they all know him? Do you know our friend, Father? He's an old pal of ours, but we lost him after the fall. And I fear he's taken a blow to the head somewhere along the way. He doesn't remember a thing about his life before then. Oh, my poor child. Perhaps I can help to jog your friend's memory. Come to the church by the city gates. And I will tell you what I know of his past. Well, that would be super useful. <sighs> Poor old Eric. It definitely seems like he inadvertently caused her to turn to gold when she recognized it. I don't know, but then again, the priest didn't, so... Anyway, can we sell this? Can we sell the woman? <laughs> Oh, we, I, I guess we we missed a golden opportunity to learn more about uh, Eric, though, didn't we, eh? <laughs> uh, I also used that joke in the uh, in the stream, uh, the two movie stream, so I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, I, had, I had to be done. This isn't a weather fortune, weather fortune. What the fuck? Weather telling cow, is it? No, pat the cow. Uh, moo. You know, that a lady has turned to gold in the square? I don't want you coming down with a fever too. You could s how much- I mean, cows are probably worth quite a lot anyway, but imagine a golden cow. Imagine that. I'm actually just thinking of the, uh, the golden goose. What, what was that film where it- where it laid golden eggs? Is, was it called the golden goose? I remember watching it as a kid. I don't really remember too much of it. 
Uh, anyway, so let's go to the church. Where, where is the church? Over this way. Wait a minute. Is that... Why is there no church symbol on the... Well, that is obviously the church. I don't know why the save symbol isn't on there. Maybe it's because you can't save here right now. The Reverend Father told me uh, that he wished to speak with you. You will find him in the vestry, the room at the back of the church. Okie dokie. Hello. For as long as I can remember, it's been my daily ritual to take a stroll around town to see the sights of Sniffle Arm. But since the fever struck, I've had to stop. Hmm. Our great city was beautiful enough without being filled with those gaudy golden statues. Aye, I, I, bloody... Tell me about it. Uh, you are more likely to catch gold fever when you are outside. Oh, is that right? Okay. Well, that would explain why everyone's inside. Let's see what the priest has to say. Ah, there you are. I am glad to see you safe and well, Eric. It has been five long years since last we met. Say what? Come to think of it, did Eric ever come into Sniffle High? I don't remember. I was here five years ago. Did I used to live here or something? Not quite. The Viking raiders who once roamed the northern seas would often stop here to buy supplies or to drink away their ill-gotten gains at the inn. And when they came, Eric, you came with them. Oh, really? Uh, I'm a Viking? <sighs> so that is why the men I sent to scour Heliodor for details of your origin would always return empty-handed. You were born here, a Viking. Not born one. Eric and his younger sister were orphans. The Vikings found them took them in and raised them as their own. You don't say. So, Eric has a sister? Whether that was for good or bad, I really couldn't say. By all accounts, they treated the poor children like slaves. Oh, well that sucks. Then, one day, we heard rumors that Eric's sister had passed away. And though the Vikings returned, Eric never did. Oh, isn't that sad? Stop. It has always saddened me that I was not able to help those poor children more. Perhaps if I can help you to recover Eric's memories, it might... I said stop! I need to be alone for a while. Uh, forgive me. It was tactless of me to reveal so much so soon. Please, go to your friend. I will join you when he has had a chance to settle down. Damn. I mean, this is all... I'm still pretty confused, I'll be honest. But at least we've learned a little bit about, uh, about Eric's origin. So I wonder if now would be a good time to go check out the Viking hideout and see if they can uh, enlighten us. Still doesn't explain the gold fever, though. Okay, so... Looks like there's a number of story points. One outside and one just to the north. But let me just quickly chat with this woman again. Uh, he burst out of the church and ran away toward the western gate. He seemed to be very upset. Yeah, he did. He certainly did. And then again, while I'm in Snuffleheim, do I... Should I check out the shops again? Maybe I should. Let's see if they've got anything new. Uh, ooh, Ice Shield. Fur Hood. Mithril Helm. Ooh. Doesn't actually sell. Ooh, that'd be pretty decent. The Macabre Mantle. Hmm. Maybe we should get that. Is it an accessory or is it just clothes, isn't it? Okay. 
That would be pretty decent for Jade, or, uh, or Silv, or Rab, actually. Maybe I'll buy one of them. Yeah, who am I going to give it to, though? Uh... Uh... Probably... Maybe Jade? Yeah, you know what, we'll give it Jade. Uh, can't buy the Mithril armor, though. Just the helm. So maybe we'll make that anyway. Right, let's check the weapons. Same sort of stuff, I suppose. Paladin's Lance? Ooh. Again, maybe that would be a good thing to get for Jade. It's pretty good against demons and undead. But it is quite expensive, and we would be very low on money if we did get it. And a new whip. Which, again, pretty expensive. So, you know what? For now, we're not going to bother. Because I think we're doing pretty good damage anyway. But um, it would be nice to have those eventually. Right, let's check out this. Oh, it's the, it's the snow shoveler. Uh, by the way, I just saw your friend running through the back gate over there. He had a uh, face like thunder. There's nothing on that side of Snuffleheim apart from the cliff that looks out over the bay. We shall go inspect it. Hopefully he's not planning on throwing himself off into the icy waters below. But there he is. Huh? Hey. I'm sorry I ran off like that. It's just... Whoa. Huh. Oh my god. Is that that ship? If the townspeople's shouts are anything to go by, it is not a welcome sight. Oh. I will take care of Eric. Please, you must hurry to the harbor. So maybe it's these golden monsters that are doing it? That's a, that's a lot of them. Sniveling Sniffleheimers. <laughs> it's time to pay tribute to the great and glorious Gildegar. All your gold belongs Gil to us. Gildegar. Gil Are you serious, game? It just keeps getting better and better, Gildegar. Oh my god. Come on, you cluttering curs. Let's get to work. Grab the golden statues and load them into the longboat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we need to put a stop to this. And steal all the goddamn townsfolk. We can't let this happen. I mean, phew, this is so weird. Right. Move it, metal-headed morons! Get the statue back to the ship. You don't want to keep Gildiga waiting. Hold it right there. The monsters are making away with the people who were turned to gold. Could the fever be there doing? You don't say. Maybe. I still don't know why Her 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 Herrick. <laughs> I've compared. <laughs> I've combined Hendrik and Eric. Herrick. Um, no, I don't. I don't know what Eric's headaches are, have got to do with things yet. What are you looking at? Mess with us, and you'll have to answer to the great and glorious Gildiga. 
shining star of the Spectral Sentinels. Yeah, what a surprise. There's a yet, yet another one of them. Cease your boastful blustering, fiend. You dare disturb the peace of this fair nation? Then it is you who shall answer to us. You tell him, Hendrik. <laughs> you think you can stop us? Fever flips bags. You're not even worth stealing. The boss only likes two kinds of humans. Gold ones and dead ones. Let's bury them, boys. <laughs> I ain't she I ain't saying she a guild digger. Oh my god. Uh Guild knots. They shouldn't be too tough. I ain't scared of them. Right. Let's do Uh You know what? I'm gonna try Fuddle Dance. Oh, that's two of them. Two out of three ain't bad. That's what they say, isn't it? Right, putting edge on the dude that isn't confused. Dodged. Come on. Hey, you're not supposed to do that when you're confused. You're supposed to attack yourself or your mates. Oh, damn it. Alright, well, that dude on the left's pretty weak. Let's just cassack them. the missing turns. It's, uh, it's just annoying that they're not attacking themselves. Uh, abilities, pearly gates. Uh, that was kind of a waste actually because it was pretty obvious I was going to kill it anyway. Uh, right, Hendrik, just, uh, I guess, yeah, another parallax, please. Still standing. Impressive. are fleeing after them <laughs> to be fair though over oh. there yeah, they can't be that hard to catch up with if they're trying to lift a really heavy gold statue because gold is huge is like so heavy what the hell are you doing here er eric you called him herrick You've again got eric oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh how why <laughs> oh my gosh never mind why they must be stopped quickly <laughs> Oh, we let him sail away. We were too slow. Oh, Eric. We are getting that boy back, and we are doing it right now. What? Oh shit! I skipped his dialogue. Sorry, guys. I thought he was. I thought he was done saying something. Okay, but at least we we uh, we have a boat. We can make chase. So let's do that right now. Come on, Dave. Whatever. You don't set sail till you know exactly what's waiting for you out there in the water. What if they've got a massive ship with a zillion cannons on it or something? <laughs> nah, you bet we're better off asking around town here before uh, where the gold blokes have uh, got their base. All right, we'll get some info before we set off then, Dave. I'll, I'll listen to you. Only because I like you so much. What have you got to say? Those golden fiends came out of nowhere. If you had not been here to drive them back, Snuffleheim might well have fallen. Thankfully the city is safe, but what of the people who were standing on the lookout? 
to the west when the uh, when the monsters attacked. I hope they were not hurt. To the west. Guess let's go this way. Me, me thinks maybe Eric was either he either went willingly or he was just in a bit of a daze and they grabbed him. All right, Mr. Priest, we need some uh, we need some advice. I am sorry, the creatures found us, and I was powerless to stop them taking Eric away. Please do not be so hard on yourself, Father. It is a miracle that even you escaped with your life. When we heard that you were outside the gates when the monsters attacked, we feared the worst. Curse those sparkling scoundrels! They have run away with every man, woman, and child struck down by the fever. They just picked them up and carried them off like so much plunder. Do they mean to sell our friends, our families? He kind of sounds like, uh, like Mori. But then why would they take Eric? He had no valuables in his possession, and he was not afflicted by the fever. Hmm. Yeah, we need to know what the connection is with him and... And yet, all this crap. they headed straight for him. It is almost as if they knew exactly who he was. Wait a moment. The way they spoke, the ship they sailed in, could they be... Are they, are they the Vikings? You know, I had the very same thought. Yes. I thought maybe those things had usurped the villains, but it seems they are them. But how? In fact, he sounds more like Calderasha from 8, now that I think about it. Hmm. Those gold-hungry horrors. They may look different. But we know them. We know them very well indeed. The way they moved, acted, talked. The fact that they knew who Eric was. There is no mistaking it. They were Vikings. Bum bum bum. They used to have a hideout near here. In a little cave just around the headland. I think that is where they have taken your friend. Well, to be honest, right? Think about it. There's a giant rock blocking the way out to the open ocean. So where the hell else could they have physically gone? Because they don't have the harp that we have. They couldn't have gone under the sea and used that. So it's obvious they've gone to the hideout. That's exactly where we're going to go. Right now. Right frickin' now to take on this gill digger. We need Eric back, and we need him. We need him to re remember all of his abilities as well. That'd be that'd be pretty nice. Uh, you know what? We're quickly going to save some MP here, or regain some, I should say. So quickly rest until dawn. Do 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 do. Let's go save our buddy, our buddy with a strange accent that no one can seem to really pinpoint. Some say Brooklyn, some say... Some, something, I don't know. Right, Dave, we know where to go. Back aboard the Salty Stallion. Let me uh, sip my water. Because the old throat's giving me some jip again. Oh, I tell you what, it's so annoying. I just wish I could either get full blow, you know, full... Fully sick, so I can recover, or just just feel well again, not constantly dithering between the two. Oh, you know what I just realised? Yeah, that thing is actually made of gold. A golden glacier. Yeah. But yeah, there's, there's no other <laughs> other place they could have gone. So let's go to the Viking hideout. So it looks like all the Vikings have been turned into monsters, just like in Octagonia, but they're all made of gold this time. But what is Eric's connection to them? I mean, yes, he was a Viking, but why the hell is he, uh, is he acting so strange? No 
sign of anyone. Do they want Eric so badly? I must know. I must find out. Go in and try and save Eric from the monsters. You're damn right we will. Celebrity, darling. I can't say I'm not jealous. <laughs> this is no time for jokes, Sylvando. We're here to rescue Eric, remember? I'm actually thinking Sylv might have been serious there. <laughs> not joking at all. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're going to plunder our plunder? Just try it. We'll beat you blacker and bluer than the Lord of Shadows did. I highly doubt that. <laughs> Imagine the reward you'd get if you took him the luminary's head on a platter. One of those empty spectral sentinel seats could be yours. Yeah, br bring him, br bring your boss my head on a silver, I mean, well, probably gold platter, actually. Uh, hey, that's uh, not a bad idea. Come on then, boys. Let's wipe ourselves a skull that's worth its weight in gold. Ah. Uh, I know, I heard that is Gildan Bitches. Uh, Gildan Bitches and his Gildan Bitches. Alright, All right, a few more of them this time. Still not going to be a problem, are they? We beat him once, we can beat him again. Uh, Hell, it's shot uh, on you two. In fact, I think uh, we'll get some umful on the go. I love the random laughs. God damn it. Alright, Rab. Uh, what do I want you to do? Uh, Kasap, I think. <laughs> right, uh, Air. I nearly, I nearly called him Herrick. Oh my god, why am I combining those two? Take heart. Alright, this is gonna work you bad. And umful on Hendrik, please, Sylv. Like they have some tricks up their sleeves. Well, they don't really have sleeves or skin, but oh, by the way, I just need to quickly close my door. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, Alright, so. Rab, what do I want to do with you? Multi heal, maybe? Keep everyone topped up as best possible. In case they have a super duper amazingly nasty attack. In the wings. Uh, right, Hendrik, finish off those two pricks on the left, please. Oh, 
Oh my god, that damage is impressive. Wow. I have a feeling, though. I have a feeling we're probably going to have to fight the uh, Guild Digger straight after this, probably. If uh, past battles or anything to go by, at least. Uh, sell a rattle. Uh oh. Um, I don't know what to do with rap. Uh, Zamel. Golden Bridges. Other axes of evil, please. Wow. Wow. That's all I can say. Uh, what do I do with... Ah, uh, Hustle Dance, yeah. Three hundred ninety-three. Holy shit, Rab! Dude. Okay, piece of piss, as expected. Victory is ours. And Major Level Forty-One. Eight skill points. We're getting some serious uh, skill point allocations recently. All right, Eric. You're free, buddy. Sorry to leave you stewing in there, laddie. They didn't hurt you, did they? Well, you're safe now. Let's head back to Sniffelheim. The priest's worried sick about you. Aye. Let me Something guess. Something is still not right. Eric, what did those fiends do to you? Yeah, please, please. We, we need to know. We need to know what's up with you. I was here. And they were... Yeah. So... She must be... I've... Gotta go. I wonder if the Guild Digger is... I mean, this is just completely, probably completely wrong, but I wonder if the Guild Digger is actually Eric's sister. <sighs> Maybe? Probably not. Damn, we need to, we need to sort him out. What was all that about, hmm? Come on, darling. We'd better get after him. Poor old Eric. And look at all this treasure! Why the hell can't we take it? Come to think of it, where the hell are all the, uh, all the statues? We've still got to rescue the town folk, surely. Which way did he go? Eric and Mia's shelter. Ah. Oh yeah, look, that whole thing's turned to gold too. That's gotta be the Gildan Hall. It's gotta be. And uh, we have an Yggdrasil route here as well, so maybe we're about to see some past visions of Eric and his sister? I know exactly what's going to jog his memory. So this is where he grew up, is it? for ten long years, ever since we found you freezing in that snowfield. You owe us your lives. 
So how about you start showing us some respect? How about you start earning his respect? Yes, Chief. Sorry, Chief. What a dick. In trouble again? You know what your problem is, dear brother? You need to learn to grovel more convincingly. Huh? <laughs> and there she is! Oh my god, that, that hey. totally is his sister. They look so much alike. I know how you feel, though. I hate their big, fat guts as much as you do. But they're not really fat. I mean, that dude looked buff. Buff as hell. Buff as fuck. Like, super buff. Cat. Just hurry up and finish your work so we can go home. Tell you what, since I'm such a good sister, I'll stick around and cheer you on. Oh gee, thanks. Woo, 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 woo! <laughs> the only reason the Chief's working me so hard today is because you got caught with your hand in his coin purse. You could at least help. <laughs> Make me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh dear. <sighs> Me and my big mouth. Yeah. Thanks for the help, Mia. Oh, stop moaning, will you? If you keep being horrible to me, I won't share any of my riches with you when I'm a millionaire. <sighs> oh, not that again. Still, I guess it's good to have a dream. One of these days, we're going to get our hands on a whole pile of treasure, and then we can wave this lousy place goodbye. <laughs> Forget a pile. I'm not going to stop till I've got myself a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but first things first, we got to find something to eat. If we had wings, we could fly away from here. We could go wherever we wanted. I thought he was gonna just like grab the seagull, snap its neck, and just chomp on it. Uh, uh, what are you, five? You won't be flying anywhere on an empty stomach. Know what I think when I look at that thing? Dinner. Ah, there you go. See, me and Mia, we're on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I would like to do that, of course, because that, that'd be pretty... No, no, I, I, no. Seagull? No, no thanks. Mia. So it's just like the priest said, Eric used to live here with his wee sister, slaving away for the Vikings. He certainly does. His sister's name was Mia, was it not? The shack, uh, must, this shack must have been their home, if you can call it that. Go on, laddie. Try touching the root again. Maybe it'll show us a bit more of the past. Okay. Let's do it. something I picked up on today's raid. No birthday's complete without a present, right? No, oh, isn't Eric such a good brother? Happy birthday, sis. Giving his sister stolen goods. Huh? Is this the best you can do? A rusty old necklace? Honestly, Eric, you need to try harder. Whoa, come on now, Mia. Come on, he tried... He, that's a nice present. What I really wanted was the red orb of Heliodor. Word is, 
It's a ruby the size of my head. Oh, so that's why he went and grabbed the red orb, is it? Huh. <sighs> oh, she likes it really. Well, word is that necklace has special powers. They say that whoever wears it will find gold at their fingertips wherever they go. Hmm. It's probably just talk, but it seemed about right for a little money grubber like you. I guess you'll just have to put it on and find out if. <gasps> oh. What the? Where did you get that from? I don't know. It was a copper coin a minute ago, but as soon as I touched it, it. Oh, the plot thickens. <gasps> Just maybe not, maybe don't touch yourself. <laughs> not in that way, you filthy Shut bastards. Up. Wow. She is Midas. She has the golden touch. It works. It actually works. I can actually turn stuff into gold. Ridiculous! This is the best present ever! <laughs> oh, <wow! laughs> That's crazy. Mm. So maybe, maybe this guild guild digger is using Eric's sister or has found that necklace I don't know but next uh, we're gonna I, I know this is a really shitty place to end the video guys but I am gonna end it here uh, next time we will continue to delve into Eric's past and find out what the hell's going on I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed this and I really do hope you look forward to the next one and join me then uh, whenever that is which will be tomorrow probably so thanks guys you're awesome I'll see you next time This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.